targeting children. When he was a member, he says they sought marginalized youth and promised them paradise. Well, now. now, he says, not much has changed. According to Picciolini, neo-Nazis are using nefarious tactics like going to depression and mental health forums and multiplayer gaming to recruit those same young people. Ben Claude is a gamer and says he hears and sees that type of thing a lot. And across the platforms I've been hearing a lot of anti-Semitism, racism, homophobia, uh, neo-Nazis, things like that happening over the headsets. In his post, Picciolini says they drop hints then ramp up recruitment when kids get hooked into what they're saying. We did some digging and found YouTube videos of Fortnite play, showing some of what Claude is talking about. Then there was this video of a gamer with the gamer tag White Pride Andrew. The things he said were so hateful they couldn't be shown on television. You can get some understanding from his fellow gamer's reaction. I don't even know where to start. I, I truly don't even know where to start with you, man. I hope you were doing a comedy. Not That's like the only sane explanation. And it's not just Fortnite, according to Picciolini. Other popular games are being used as hate platforms as well. If you're thinking this is not close to home, this is an image of hate groups across the nation, according to the Southern Poverty Law Center. All it takes is a username and a password to have access to your children's ears.